Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload a video, which is every day until this quarantine is over. At least I think so. <laughs> um, give this video a thumbs up, share it to someone you think might like it, and I hope it's to the end. So today I am doing my hair care routine. I've never done anything hair like on my channel. Let me start by saying I'm not a professional, but I did grow up with a mom who's a hairdresser and who still practices today. And I did work with her a lot while growing up. So I have a pretty good knowledge about hair. Um, it's just not my passion. I actually don't go to hair salons. I do my hair on my own. If I have any questions, I will refer to my mom, which I hardly ever do anyways. <laughs> There's so much information out there anyway. Like I said, I'm not licensed, but I have a lot of knowledge with hair since I grew up in it. Just a little background on my hair before I actually go into just throwing products at you. Um, my hair was natural until June 2019 for like two years and on, um, on November 2019 last year as well. Um, I permed my hair. So my hair was natural for about two years and change. I did the big chop like right down and grew it back out. So right now it's relaxed slash perm and I also added color to it. So my hair is transitioning from relax from natural to relax and i put my hair under a lot of pressure so at the moment it is dry brittle i lost some hair in the transition and so i need volume and all of that so my, so my areas of concern with my hair are dryness brittle hydration like so anything that says that i'm all about it and i'm switching up my products trying to find what works best for my hair now that it's relaxed because i need products that are lighter because i don't want my hair to be too heavy so in the future, I probably will do more in depth on the products that I like, but I am like testing out a lot of products now to see which one my hair likes and what's working best for my hair. But it was important that I mentioned that in case you probably have the same problems that I do with my hair, that you can use some of the products as a recommendation to you so that you, you know what you're working with. So um, this is what my hair is looking like. It is like really growing but like I said it could be healthy and my mission at the moment is to get my hair as long as I know it can be to the way it used to be and to let, have it shiny and less damage and whatnot so right now it's like past my collarbones and um yeah so I'm gonna show you what it is I do to um, maintain my hair and promote healthy growth and to get it to the length that i know is going to be so i'm gonna start off with pre pooing my hair i just took extensions out my for my hair like tapings and some bondings so um i didn't wash my hair for about two weeks so there's a lot of product and stuff in it so i'm gonna pre poo my hair i'm gonna show you how i do that um there's a lot of information out there on pre pooing and you can also do it if your hair is natural as well because because my hair is like lack moisture and stuff at the moment and that's something i like to do to protect my hair add hydration and stuff because i am going to shampoo my hair today so i like to pre-poo my hair when i'm shampooing it especially um so yeah so let me show you how it is i pre-poo my hair i like using a conditioner and an oil i mix it together and i put it in the microwave so today i'm going to be using the dove intensive hair repair um, conditioner i will link everything in the description box so you can um leave links so you can actually purchase if you're interested in it and i'm also going to use coconut oil you can use olive oil or you know um, avocado oil whatever oil of your choice but i'm going to use this to mix them together throw it in the microwave and i'm going to come back and show you what it is i do all right so i took this out of the microwave i put it in for a couple seconds the reason why i microwaved it is because when it's warm it tends to um absorb into your hair follicles better so i'm just taking this brush and i'm starting to apply it on my edges first because my edges suffered a lot during this transition also the nape of my neck because that also suffers <laughs> i'm just gonna take a wet brush and just run it through make sure my hair is detangled this brush is amazing like you need a wet brush and i'm just gonna take my hand now if you want to continue to use the brush you can but my hair is not very thick so i'm just going to take my hand with that and just apply it to the ends of my hair i'm really focusing it to the ends of my hair a lot more than the roots because that's where my hair is like really dry and the hair is dead so i'm just trying to just maintain that part of it so i'm giving it more love than the roots of my hair after I feel like the ends of my hair has enough, I'm just going through and applying it 
to the roots with whatever is left in the container I'm gonna twist this up hold that in place with a pin and cover this with a plastic cap you could do this overnight as well but I'm just gonna leave it in for like an hour or so in my hair and do some cleaning around the house and um, and I'll be back to show you what I do next and let me just reiterate that there are a lot of information out there I can't give you all this information in this video because it's just it would be way too long so do your research um, and experiment and see what works best for your hair I'm always saying that there's nothing more there's nothing better than ginning Google it now Google has everything and it's free at least I think so so I would be back to show you the next step so I'm back it's about an hour and a half that I left the pre poo in for and I shampooed my hair with Pantene relax and natural dry to moisturize shampoo it's a creamy shampoo and when I shampoo my hair I always apply the shampoo to my roots I never apply it to my ends I always apply it to my roots and massage it and when I rinse my hair out the ends will get it I don't want to put um, too much on my ends like I said my ends the ends of your hair is dead hair so you'll want to protect it as much as you can now I'm gonna apply L'Oreal Paris El Vive or El Vive line it's um, an eight seconds wonder water I'm gonna apply some of this in my hair you could um, apply this and wash it off and not apply any conditioner if you feel like but I'm gonna apply it massage it in they said eight seconds but I'm gonna leave it for like a minute or two and then I'm going to wash it off and then I'm gonna apply my conditioner I love how my hair <laughs> still maintains some of its natural curls from um, after I relaxed it oh I'm so impressed this smells so good too I like to always focus stuff on my edges because my edges like I said is always exposed it gets the most work maybe I'll show how I perm my hair and what I use to perm my hair as well always wanted it to, to like be manageable straight but I like I want that when I wash my hair I can still see the integrity of my hair a little bit that is not bone straight that I can see a little bit of my like my hair if that makes sense the whole L'Oreal Il Vive Il Vive line is a good line as well gonna wash this off and be right back all right so I washed out the wonder water from my hair my hair feels so nice and soft I always like to deep treat my hair so I'm gonna use Jayco Joyco <laughs> I'm gonna use Joyco K pack intense hydrator treatment for dry damaged hair all right so I'm gonna start of course with my edge on oh, no, oops oops and a oop <laughs> coat my edges Because my edges was like seriously damaged from like I said transitioning and it was just like over processed but it is like there's hardly any signs of it anymore then we applying some of this to the nape of our neck and I'm starting on the ends of my hair my entire hair is gonna get my entire head of hair is gonna get what I like to focus it on the ends first because like I said that's the dead hair and I want to make sure it's coated and treated because that's where it's damaged the most because the roots of my hair has like the new growth so it's not as damaged as the ends and I'm gonna just massage that in my hair now, at this point I like to detangle my hair a little bit so I'm using the same wet brush and I'm starting from the ends and just brush from the ends. so if there's any tangles it will come off and that I do not have um, breakage when I start from the ends and I walk my way up to the roots so I'm gonna pin it up roll it up put a pin in there and this cap goes over it again if you're someone who has like an at-home hair dryer you can sit underneath it or a portable heat cap or something you can sit underneath it I currently do not have one so I'm using this cap and I'm gonna wrap a towel over it so it will um, give it more warmth so that the um, treatment can penetrate more into the follicles of my hair yeah that's basically it so here I'm gonna leave it again for like an hour or so for the minutes to an hour or more it depends on what it is I'm doing and then I'm gonna wash it out and come back and I'm sorry I'm not showing you me washing it out but my daughter is with her dad at the moment I don't have anyone to like hold the camera and to angle the camera and whatnot so um, I cannot actually show that but 
we all know how we wash our hair out and rinse our hair out and whatnot so i'll be back to show you the next steps so i forgot to turn my mic on so voiceover it is so i rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair and i left it in for like about two hours and i'm using my t-shirt to dry up the excess water i love using t-shirts because the material is soft it's a jersey material so it's not going to tug on my hair and it's going to um, cause my hair to not break as much as opposed to using like a towel um i'm just showing the length of my hair i'm so proud of where my hair is at i can't wait to see where it's going to be in like six months from now all right, so now I'm going to apply leave-in -in conditioner. I always, always use a leave-in -in conditioner. And I like to use two types. I like to use a cream one and a liquid one. And I always switch up my leave-in conditioners as well. It depends on what I'm going for for the day. And I love leave-in conditioners. that's not going to let my hair feel heavy at the end. So I'm using Elastic QP. And I'm going to apply that on my edges. And make sure that I really get it through in the ends of my hair really concentrate it in those areas and massage it in with my fingers like i was saying i don't like leave-in conditioners that's going to make my hair feel heavy in the end like if my hair is still dirty and has product build up in it sort of like a clammy feel so um that's why i love this one one of, that's one of the ones that i love i'm tripping over my words here um for my hair because it doesn't make my hair feel heavy in the end my hair feels light and it, it works really well in protecting my hair and giving me that little extra thing that i need for my hair to get to where i want it to go and to help with the breakage and whatnot so i'm really soaking it in the ends of my hair and i'm gonna massage it in make sure that it's there soaked in and dissolved in my hair And then I'm going to apply the Aussie Hair Insurance um, Living In Spray. That's a spray one. I'm going to spray it all over my hair. By no means think that you have to use two different types of living in conditioner. Like one is sufficient. It will suffice. That's just what I like to do. I just like to mix it up. I just feel, I don't know. It's just something that I like to do. So um, you don't have to use two. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to massage it into my hair. Make sure my hair follicles is really um, coated nicely. Use my fingers and sort of finger comb it and whatnot to get the product in there. Now, because I'm not going anywhere, I will leave my hair so that it can air dry a tad bit before I actually go to blow dry it in. That way I use less hair it in my hair and i take less time to blow dry my hair so what i'm gonna do now is apply some heat protectant and i'm using the tresemme one i love this heat protectant i'm gonna spray it all over my hair and blow dry my hair i'm gonna start to blow dry my hair from the ends of my hair and work my way up to the roots that way um, i tend to get less breakage or pulling or whatnot the same the same um way of me detangling my hair from the ends to the roots um it's my preferred method i have less breakage and less hair coming out in the end of the um the whole process so that is my hair blow dried what it's looking like and um i'm just gonna leave it like that because we are quarantined there is nothing that i have to do i'm just gonna apply some um whey um, hair and body oil in that is a rose oil just apply a little bit in it and just maybe wear it in a ponytail and like i said i'm home i'm not going to do anything um to it i don't know probably i'll probably throw a wig over top or what whatnot but that's how it's gonna stay for now so i hope you discovered some new products or you learned something from this video um please stay safe out there um find things to do in the house <laughs> you see i'm rolling the videos out so um yeah so that's basically it so i will leave all the products in the description box um thank you so much for watching i'll also link them so if you're interested in purchasing and make it easy for you to find them and i will see you in my next video very soon so let's continue to touch the wall one face at a time the link to my social media is down below i'm a makeup artist and a nail tech in brooklyn you can follow me on my instagram and stuff and see my work and um so yeah bye so i'll see you in my next video next day <laughs> bye guys